So tell me about the first time you did this. That was in uh, Laramie, Wyoming. Okay. I met. I was hitchhiking, trying to get to Denver, and uh, this old hobo and his dog. I was on top of an overpass, and he was waiting on a train down below, and he called me down and pointed out a train. He goes, "Where you want to go?" And I said, uh, "Denver." So he showed me what train to get on, and next thing I know, I just stayed on through Denver, went all the way to Stockton, California. It was like a three and a half, four day trip. Mm -hmm. I was hooked right then. Victory in my MOS. But after I got out, I went straight to the rails. And that, I went back to Texas, Port Arthur, and uh, it just got in my blood, and I just never stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. I rode through here last time, was about six months ago, seven. I caught out of Lynchburg and then rode down here. We stopped in the siding about eight miles south of here, and I bailed off. Walk back into town. Rarely do the trains ever stop in Johnson City. They have to stop in Bristol. The crew train mm -hmm. put fresh engineer and conductor on. So that's usually where I go whenever I catch a train out of here. I, so usually you do catch a train up in Bristol. Yeah. Are there? Have you ever seen anybody else do that up there? No, not in Bristol. But uh, I've, I've I've ridden with other riders through Bristol. Mm -hmm. We just never got off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with me, it's the traveling. It just to present myself, give myself a challenge. It just keeps me focused on one thing, even though it's a, a bad way, <laughs> a hard way of living. Mm -hmm. You just got its ups and downs, but I guess the thrill you get in, out of it, and, uh, mm -hmm. the freedom, and not being tied down. There's another rider named Stove. Stove the hobo. He got killed the same week I, I had this accident. Apparently he got drunk out on the tracks and got hit by one of them Excella and track trains. So how many times have you been hurt over the years? Uh, just this one just time. What happened there? Almost two years ago. I was get I just hopped on a train in Kansas City in the first crew train south in Pittsburgh, Kansas. It was doing two, three miles an hour and there was frost on the on the ladder when I got off, fell, and I was trying to push myself back as soon as I hit, and I had my pinky and ring finger on top of the rail when the train ran over it. I really didn't even know what happened at first. Mm -hmm. And like 10 seconds later, the pain said, <laughs> me, I like the slow boxcar ride. That way you can enjoy the scenery mm -hmm. and not being in a rush. Plus the railroad police don't really check them out all that much. Okay. Yeah, your piggyback and hot shot train. Every big town you go into that has a bull, he's gonna check that out and throw you off if you get caught. Usually they don't throw you in jail though. If you do, it's just an overnight for trespass. So many times have you been thrown in jail doing this? Oh God, it was happening like maybe once or twice a year. And then after I really got down, you know, the ins and outs of it, hell, it's probably been 07 since my last time I went to jail for it.